using a DIY CNC to draw some big pictures. Something I've wanted to play around with for a long time and found some time to get into this. One thing that makes this kind of cool is this CNC, this strange design has a pretty big cut area, pretty big print, so we can make some large drawings. For this pen plotter, this design, I found this on Thingiverse that printed up really quickly, just using regular PLA. And it keeps a little bit of downward pressure on the bottom of the pen and makes it work really well. My level here, my deck is pretty flat, but for slight differences, this keeps a little bit of pressure down there. This mechanism here was designed to use a Sharpie, but I went through the junk drawer, pulled out a bunch of pens and this one is triangular shaped, so this keeps a little bit of pressure on there and keeps it pretty tight. As far as the design, it's a really great simple solution to this. This is just a quarter inch bolt and the threads on the top were, were cut off. And I've got a bunch of little collets, one of which fits a quarter inch end mill. So the quarter inch collet holds onto that bolt. The screw right there keeps this anchored to the bolt and then the bottom can ride up and down a little bit on the bottom of that. For the pictures here, this was just a screen snip online. I looked into some line drawings, grabbed the first thing that jumped out, and copied it, brought it into Inkscape, did a bitmap trace, and then moved that over to Cut 2D for the toolpaths. The toolpaths could be done in JS Cut or Carbide, 3D, but for this I've been using Cut 2D a little bit. This just does the outline, but if you follow the parameters for a pocket cut, then you can draw more of an infill. For a screen capture, and this can be done lots of different ways, including using a sketch feature on your phone, but for what I've been playing around with, I was just bringing up some faces, some images, see something that looks interesting, just do a screen snip. Come on over. And this is just for playing. Do observe copyrights on these things. We get a picture. Copy. Bring it over to Inkscape. Edit paste. Here's our snip. But we can't do anything with vectors yet. Because this is still just a snip. So we have to come up here to Path, Trace Bitmap, and sometimes you have to play around a little bit with the threshold controls there. This is nice and dark, so it should be fine. Click OK, and then we can pull off the vector image. This gets deleted, and then this is what we can work with for the CNC. So this was just a picture I grabbed last night. And once you've got your picture in here, save it as an SVG. And then in my testing, I've been using Cut2D from Vectric, but other programs will work as well. We've got the image here in Cut2D, and again, lots of programs can do this. I've just been using Cut2D for some other projects. Got the snip here, and we can either do a toolpath for the outside or we can do one for pockets. And for those that have played with Cut 2D, I'm not going to go into a tutorial here. There are much better ones than I could do uh, freely and available online. But this is for the outside, this is for the pockets. So if we click pocket here, I've got the settings here that I've temporarily set up for the pen for drawing. So the cut depth is super super shallow 0 0.04 and for the passes we only need one we're not cutting down deeper and deeper go back to toolpaths and then calculate and here's kind of our image here you can see the individual lines where it would make a pocket and this just gets saved as a g-code file and move it over to Mach 3.
That's the finished drawing. This one took about 13 minutes or so. Very easy 3D print. The tape up top here just holds the spindle from turning because this is connected to the part of the spindle that turns. So that keeps that there. And even though this seems a little wobbly from side to side, the resolution is very, very good. And as was shown in some of the video clips, it's kind of interesting to see the little bit of compression that it keeps down on there. And because this is a relatively tight fit in there, it really doesn't move too far this way or this way. So fun, neat project, easy mod, easy thing to do with just about any CNC. I've got some Sharpies for some more tests, and I want to play around with some pencil sketch tools with pictures taken from the camera. Thanks very much for taking a look.